Hi guys, it's Erica. What's up? Hi, how's it going? I hope everything's going well and whatnot. I bought more books because I have no self-control and yeah. So let's talk about all the books that I bought in September. The first book I have here I got at a flea market, which is The Long Hard Road Out of Hell by Marilyn Manson and Neil Strauss. I think this is his autobiography. I don't know anything about Marilyn Manson and I think that's kind of sad because I feel like so many people know so much about him and I feel like he's such a creepy guy that I should know something about him, but I don't. Hopefully when I read this I will then know a little bit about this dude and then I'll know what he's all about. Maybe. I don't know. The next book is really cool. My co-worker went on vacation and I told her to bring me back a book in a different language and she brought me back The Fault in Our Stars which I have already read but it's in Italian. This is so cool because I, it makes me want to learn Italian because I don't know Italian. Uh, yeah. The next book I got I'm so excited for it's The Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. This is the last book in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I can never say the full title. I'm so excited to read this because I have loved the first two books and I'm looking forward to great things from the last book. I'm probably gonna read it in October because Halloween and this whole trilogy is pretty creepy in itself so I'm just I'm so excited and if you've read it already tell me what you think but don't spoil me. Next I picked up The Mist by Stephen King. This is actually a novella that was in something else but I guess they put it into its own book or something. You might know this from the movie The Mist, which is a movie that is is very like loved or hated, I want to say. I actually love the movie and I know that's weird because the ending has such a crazy shock factor, which is the reason why I actually really love the movie and it's just, it's so wrong, but I love it so much. The movie did such an incredible job that I'm just so excited to see the source of it and just to see how Stephen King wrote it and whatnot, uh, yeah. And then I picked up volume 5 of Saga. I'm so excited to read this because you've probably heard me gush about this graphic novel series for so long now. I'm so excited to read this. I'm, I'm gonna read this very soon. It took a while for me to find it. I looked in two bookstores and couldn't find it and it made me so angry. But then I went to San Francisco to this bookstore and they had it and I was so happy they did. So I can't wait and uh, you'll hear my thoughts on this very soon. I'm so excited. If you love graphic novels, check out Saga. And the last book I have for this book haul is probably the one I'm most excited for out of all of these books, only because the first book was so great. It was so great and yet I hated the ending so much but it was so good that I'm so excited for the sequel which is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. The first book is The Diviners. I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard about it. I think a lot of people on booktube have read it and I freaking loved it so much so I'm so excited for this second book. It is ginormous but so is the first one. The only complaint I have is the cover change because this cover looks nothing like the first one and it bugs me so much and it's just pet peeves of a bookworm guys I can't help it I do actually like this cover it's just so different from the original that it makes me mad and those are all the books for this book haul guys if you've read any of these books leave a comment below tell me your thoughts opinions yada 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 and yeah that's all I have to say and this is getting awkward so I'm gonna go I don't I, okay goodbye goodbye